I was thinking about Pokemon games and Pokemon Coliseum popped up in my head because I'm trying to think about future releases or maybe past games that they can do a remaster or something of. And I was thinking about Pokemon Coliseum and if we'll ever get a remake or a remaster or even like a sequel to that game. So if you're unsure about Pokemon Coliseum, it was released just about 20 years ago. It was released November 21st, 2003 in Japan and March 22nd, 2004 in North America on the Nintendo GameCube. As we all know, the GameCube has had a rise of popularity over the last like two, three years because of all the amazing titles that were on the GameCube. And there were a few great Pokemon games in there like Pokemon Coliseum or Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Pokemon Coliseum is still regarded as one of the most difficult but fun, challenging Pokemon games ever made. For the time, it was a big difference from like the regular mainline Pokemon games. This game was really challenging, it was extremely addicting, there were a lot of brand new and cool features, and overall it was just a cool concept, and of course it was on a GameCube, which was the home console rather than the handheld console because back then, all the Pokemon games were pretty much released on handheld console with the exception of like, you know, Pokemon Snap and, and stuff like that. And it also introduced a new 3D battle system that was just different from any Pokemon game at the time. And it being on a home console means bigger screen, better graphics because, you know, there's better hardware, software, and everything like that. There's also an introduction to the Shadow Pokemon, which they actually carried over to Pokemon Go eventually, which is, which is really cool. And fans have always wondered if we're ever going to get like a sequel or anything new with Pokemon Coliseum or even a new game that's kind of similar to that. But one of the main issues that may be the reason why we haven't had a remake or a remaster or a sequel to Pokemon Coliseum or Gale of Darkness is because Game Freak actually doesn't technically own it, but they do. They didn't make that game. A different company called Genius Sonority created Pokemon Coliseum and Gale of Darkness and Battle Revolution which if you don't know was on the Wii, and they actually made two more modern-ish Pokemon games called Pokemon Shuffle and Cafe Remix. Well, Pokemon itself is partially owned completely by Game Freak, Nintendo, and Creatures Inc. There may be some copyright issues or legal issues that connect a genius sonority to, you know, the Coliseum, Gale of Darkness games, because they made the game, so maybe they can't actually use that title. Unless Genius Sonority may give them permission, or, you know, maybe want to be down. Or maybe they want to be down to make another game like that. I'm not 100% sure that is the case. That's just what I found out by doing some research that Game Freak didn't make Coliseum or Gale of Darkness or Battle Revolution. Battle Revolution wasn't received all that well. I had it as a kid, and I thought it was kind of fun as a kid, but I went back to it a few years ago, and it was just not what I remembered. Battle Revolution is just, it's kind of boring in a way. I feel like Battle Revolution, to me, is more like Pokemon Stadium, though, rather than like Gale of Darkness or Coliseum, but Gale of Darkness and Coliseum are different. They're regarded as some of like the most in-depth, like cool, unique Pokemon games ever made, which I have never played Gale of Darkness or Coliseum. I do have a copy of Coliseum, but I haven't played it because I don't have a GameCube controller and I just keep putting it off. But I really want to play Coliseum really bad because it seems like a great game. But also because Battle Revolution wasn't received that well, May could also be another reason why we haven't had a sequel or another game similar to those games. Because maybe Genius Snorri is just kind of like you know, unmotivated, because the Pokemon Cafe Remake and Pokemon Shuffle, those are completely different games than Gale of Darkness, Coliseum, and everything. Those are, these are like, those are like random, you know, like mobile games or DS games that are just not that, not that great either. But I think the closest game that we've had since the release of Battle Revolution would probably be Legends Arceus in the form or sense that it's like a completely different game, but it's still like kind of a mainline game, or it is a mainline game, I guess but it's a completely different take on the Pokemon games. It's a whole new storyline, a whole new way of battling, capturing Pokemon and everything. And I feel like Game Freak will either make similar games like that going on in the future. And I wouldn't say that we'll never get another Colosseum game or Gale of Darkness, I guess I'll throw in there. I don't think the odds are very high, but I don't think you should say the odds are zero. I would say it's not likely. I'd say don't bet on it or anything. But you never know, sometimes things happen and maybe in the future we'll get a sequel, a remake, remaster, who knows. I would personally love that and I know a lot of people would really love that. I feel like it would sell amazingly well. But also if they don't, that's okay because we're definitely going to get different games like that in the future where 
it's not like a direct mainline game in the sense of like being a brand new generation or a remake of a Pokemon game or anything like that, but it's going to be like a new mainline game that has a whole brand new take on the Pokemon games. We'll probably get some more of those in the future. As you all know, there's a lot of rumors of like Legends Kiram or Legends Celebi or something. That's, that's what people really want to come out. And we're going to get an announcement here pretty soon of what the next Pokemon game will actually be, which is really, really exciting. But let me know if you guys would want to play a brand new Pokemon Coliseum game. The region is really cool. It's, it takes place in its own region called the Or region. That's O-R-R-E. And it's like a desert western region. It has a bunch of towns, cities, and Coliseums, as you can guess from the name. And the music is great. I've heard a lot of people just love the soundtrack of Pokemon Coliseum, which is definitely a huge part of Pokemon games. A lot of the Pokemon games... Especially the ones like up to generation like six or seven have an amazing soundtrack. I'd say, you know, Scarlet Violet soundtrack was okay. There were a few bangers, but some of them were just, you know, meh. I think the best part about Coliseum though is just the gameplay. If you've never seen gameplay of it, I highly recommend looking some up. I'll have some up on the screen during this video, but I don't own any of the content, so I don't want to like show too much or anything. The storyline and the plot and the characters are very memorable. I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil anything here because obviously I haven't I still haven't played the game I've seen a lot of gameplay of it and everything though and I've seen a lot of reviews and a lot of people talking about it and it's the coolest thing is to and one cool thing is too it's like one of the first 3d Pokemon games so so early on before like the mainline games started becoming 3d around generation 6 or gen I guess generation 5 was kind of 3d but you know what I'm saying and there were a lot of cool like side modes where you could like battle for fun, kind of having like the Pokemon Stadium feel to it and everything. This game was just really well made and really well developed, which is so cool that it was so early on in the Pokemon like lifespan. Like this game came out in 2003 originally for J Japanese release and then 2004 for uh, North American release, which is crazy because the Pokemon company, I'm pretty sure established in 96 or 97. I think the first game came out in 97, I, I might be off by a year or two, but like this game was only out when the Pokemon franchise was really only 5 or 6-ish years old, which is really cool that they made such a, a crazy in-depth and 3D game on a GameCube. Let me know if you would want to see some sort of new Coliseum game, whether it be a remaster, a remake, or a sequel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.